my healing technique is the only one that works. In 2015, I was speaking to a therapist called VJ Rana about different healing techniques. I was talking about how some people believe that their technique is the best one available or the only one that works. After bringing this up, I went into why I thought it wasn't a good idea for someone to say these kinds of things. I remember saying that this can cause someone to experience problems when a technique doesn't work. Self-blame. They can then end up believing that there must be something wrong with them, causing them to feel even worse than they did before. Also, instead of trying another technique that will assist them, they can continue to use the same technique. There can be the frustration and anger that they experience as well, along with all the money that they are forking out. And after all this, they are not going to be any better off than they were before. If anything, they can be worse off. His thoughts. VJ listened to what I had to say and then he followed up with what he had heard Ken Wilbur say. I think he said that he had heard him talk about how people can get so attached to what they do that it impedes their ability to think clearly. It was as though the technique they use becomes part of them, making them see everything through a certain lens. Their technique will be a hammer and this will cause them to see every issue as a nail. There will be a one-size-fits-all approach. A number of options. He said that while he uses one technique, this is not the only way of working through inner blocks. There were a number of different options that he put forward, and this showed that his identity was not attached to a technique. This allowed him to be more open-minded and to accept that what works for one person might not have the same effect on someone else. It was not a surprise to hear VJ say this, as he is very down to earth and genuine. A long list. Over the years, I have tried a number of different approaches, and I have learnt a lot and dealt with a lot of stuff during this time. Some of the things I have tried have worked for others, but not for me, and certain approaches have been good for certain issues, but not others. I would say that there are techniques out there that are far more effective than others, but I wouldn't say that one technique will solve everything. What I've also thought is that if someone uses a technique and says that it is the only one that works, and they're in a good place themselves, there's a strong chance that they've tried many techniques over their life to get where they are. A process. The technique they use would have been elevated, but there is likely to have been so many other factors that have played a part in where they are today. Ignoring the other techniques they have used and experiences that have allowed them to evolve will be similar to a car manufacturer overlooking how much of an impact the, early model, the earlier models of a car have had on the latest model. If it wasn't for these models, the latest model wouldn't exist. Therefore, if they hadn't gone through these experiences, they wouldn't have been able to get to this point. In other words, it is unlikely that the technique they use is the only one they have ever used. Timing. Often someone will be drawn to a technique that allows them to go to a level that they feel comfortable with at that point in time. It could be said that there is a technique and then there is how ready someone is to work through an issue. How ready someone is can define how long it will take for them to work through something. This is not something that a therapist or a healer can speed up. This is why it is important for someone to trust in their journey, to know that the answers they need will be provided at the right time.